Nick here from Gluten Free For You. And today I'm going to be showing you some new features that have just come out in Final Cut Pro X with the 1.0.6 update. You can download that for free from the Mac App Store. Final Cut Pro .co was uh, reporting that some people had tr trouble installing it on non-Mountain Lion machines, but I'm running it on Snow Leopard and I installed it just fine after backing it up to my external hard drive. So let's get started taking a look at this new stuff. One of the new things they've added, probably the biggest one, is support for red cameras. So now red footage can go into Final Cut Pro X and you can edit just like anything else. So that's real nice. Uh, they've also added a 3000% increase on render times for effects. So maybe I've got a filter or something else over one of my footage. It'll render it a whole lot faster than it used to in 1.0.5. Another thing is you can now add chapter markers in DVDs. That's pretty nice. But uh, one of the things I want to show you is the easy freeze frame effect now. So say I want to stop my footage right here. I'll just press Option F and it'll create about a three or four second freeze frame effect right there. And, and so then he freezes right there and then it'll automatically do it. So I can come in here and edit the uh, timing of it and treat it just like any other clip. But that's real nice, quick and easy freeze frames. Another thing they've added is the drop shadow. You can find it under the filters tab. And I looked for that before and I couldn't find anything. But so now you can add a drop shadow to your to your uh, footage or your uh, a PNG image or something. And that's real nice. Another big thing they've added that you'll notice pretty, uh, pretty fast uh, is that they've changed the import interface. It used to be you could press command shift I to bring up your uh, standard Mac importer and you could browse through iPhoto and all that stuff, but you can't do that anymore. What you do now is you press Command I, and they've unified the camera import from your uh, one that we built in, like the iSight camera, with the other one. So I would browse through my files, I'd say uh, desktop, and I'd pick out my files from here. Now, what I don't like about this is that you can't get to iPhoto anymore from this. I used to just import everything to iPhoto and then just grab it from Final Cut Pro X and bring it into there that way. But now what you have to do is you have to drag them all onto the, des onto the desktop important that way. Now what I do like about this is that it gives you the option to scroll through all your footage once you've got it on there. And so that is pretty nice that way. But I do like this. Aside from the iPhoto part, I like it. Another thing that's real nice now is that they've added support for dual audio channels. So maybe you're recording on a camera that's got maybe a lavalier microphone and a uh, boom mic hooked up to it. You can, you can right click the audio and you'd be able to separate uh, expand the audio and video, show, expand audio components, and that would show you all the um, various audio tracks that are in there, and you can edit them separately, and they're not all just merged into one anymore. So that's real nice. So these are just a few of the things they've added in Final Cut Pro X uh, 1.0.6. Go ahead and download that from the App Store. They've also added an update for Motion 5. It's a small update, but one of the things I like about it is that it adds support for having multiple projects open at the same time, which they've been needing for quite a while. And so you can now copy and paste between projects. Alright, so thanks for watching.